fact that you can do imaging yes. with uh, your system. Uh, how, how does that uh, show up as a real picture in three dimensions? Yes, we have a unique capability that, that frankly took an enormous amount of effort and a lot of experience to produce. We're able to compute all 6,239 voxel elements uh, in the image 30 times a second. And we display them eight times per second so that it is effectively an animated image. The voxels are five millimeters in size. And as I mentioned, the response time of 30 milliseconds ensures that we get a high speed image. So we're getting a unique image with comparable resolution to MRI, similar techniques, much higher speed, higher real time response. And we're literally looking at brain activation, the electrical activity of the brain. Can you also look at networks? Yes, we're able to image combinations of sites and networks. The S. Loretta algorithm, as we have implemented it, reconstructs the entire brain. And it's able to identify multiple sources, and we're also able to measure the connections between different regions of the brain. Good. Is actually, what is brain avatar? What is this really like? Uh, what is, why is it called avatar? Well, Brain Avatar is our current comprehensive software system that includes EEG and QEEG and neurofeedback and neurofeedback imaging in one seamless operational system. And it, it is uh, used for neurofeedback and imaging? Yes, we've combined them. We have a new modality we call neurobiofeedback imaging and we're able to create images instantaneously with or without a reference database. Uh, this includes two-dimensional surface images and three-dimensional volume images. And all of the data can be used for neurofeedback. So we're actually able to train specific regions of the brain, we call regions of interest, such as the cingulate gyrus or the insula or the frontal lobes, and this is a very powerful and effective way of controlling neurofeedback. Do you think that, or do you mean with that technology, it is possible to have images like from fMRI, functional magnetic resonance imaging? Yes, the images look very similar to fMRI images. In comparison with other techniques like MRI or PET, uh, neurobiofeedback imaging measures the electrical activity of the brain. Uh, not metabolic or structural or oxygen or other types of activity. So it is instantaneous and it has a resolution of five millimeters, which is comparable to that in other imaging techniques. Tom, if you look at your history of, uh, of yes. the company, um, you see that uh, you can really take BrainMaster as an innovative company. So the, you're, you're an innovator for the field. What makes you really say that the products are so innovative? Well, Thomas, what we've done is adopted a policy that I learned uh, at Bell Laboratories and other industry areas. What you do is you create a product and then you listen to the feedback and you pay attention to the users and respond to what they tell you. We are going into our 20th year and we have introduced no less than a thousand improvements and innovations over these years. Probably not a month goes by that we don't introduce some important change or innovation. And uh, a combination of small improvements and large improvements combined with generational changes in the product are what continue to keep us in the front. That sounds good. Well, Thomas, what we've done is adopted a policy that I learned uh, at Bell Laboratories and other industry areas. What you do is you create a product and then you listen to the feedback and you pay attention to the users and respond to what they tell you. We are going into our 20th year and we have introduced no less than a thousand improvements and innovations over these years. Probably not a month goes by that we don't introduce some important change or innovation. And uh, a combination of small improvements and large improvements combined with generational changes in the product are what continue to keep us in the front. We are always interested in new developments yes. in the field of neurofeedback and you already contributed to this field many, many in, uh, innovations. Is there something 
that we can look into and look forward to what is going to happen in the future from your work, what we can yeah, uh, sure. expect? Well, we're, we're <laughs> always working ahead. Uh, in our laboratory, we're typically two or three years out working on things that uh, will be seen in the future. Right now, our developments are focused on uh, stimulation technologies, including transcranial magnetic stimulation, uh, and advancements in photic and auditory stimulation. And we're also doing work in uh, what we call micro-miniature devices and also in wireless technology. So we're looking forward to exciting uh, new developments. Yes, absolutely. And everything is driven by user needs and what is clinically important. Thank you very much. This is very interesting. Thanks, Tom. Thank you very much. <laughs>